Welcome back to the Crypto Report. I'm Black C, and I have another video for you guys. Today, I want to talk about Crypto.com, CrowCoin. Take a look at some of these crazy Kronos meme coins because it's a lot of fun. And there's some important things I want to talk to you guys about. So without further ado, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's hop into this video. So guys, right now, Bitcoin is trading at $63,985, just barely below 64 k we are a little bit below a very important price level that I'm looking at, and we'll talk about that shortly. But all in all here, guys, sideways chop. That's the name of the game. Bitcoin dominance trading at 53.37%. When you exclude stable coins, we're basically trading at about 55.37%. About 2% from the high of 57% Bitcoin dominance. I've been saying for a while now, guys, I expect sideways to the downside on Bitcoin dominance. It got rejected off of that 57% level, but... In the short term, I'm expecting this sideways to the downside until Bitcoin is ready to make that larger move to the upside. But what's going on with these meme coins? What's going on with CrowCoin? Well, over on Twitter, I posted my favorite Kronos memes right now are Crow with Knife, Kaw, and Crokey. What others should I be looking at? I'm only really playing around with some of these memes for fun, but I do think there's money to be made in some of them. But all in all, what this is really getting me excited about is CrowCoin because guys this is what the Kronos ecosystem needs it needs the fun it needs to be fun it needs to draw people in to have a good time people are seeing money being made people are having fun people are talking about the Kronos blockchain because people are making money it was very nice when the overall market was coming down and the Kronos memes were thriving that was very important I think we got a decent amount of eyeballs on the Kronos space when you look at the deck screener for the Kronos memes, you can see. I mean, right now we're kind of trading sideways on some of them, but today, Mouse and Pasta is up 48.79%. Pretty crazy. I just heard about this one. It's pretty ridiculous, some of these, but I'm not saying that these are uh, good investments by any stretch of the imagination. But what I am saying that the more of these that get created, the more attention is going to be coming to the Kronos space. More people are probably going to lose money, to be honest with you guys. But more people are going to be paying attention to the Kronos ecosystem. And that is what CrowCoin needs right now, guys. CrowCoin is borderline a stable coin right now. But my name of the game has been making profits with my Kronos meme coins and putting it back into Crow. And I think that's going to be what a lot of these people do. It's the same thing on Solana. People make a bunch of money from these Solana meme coins. And then they put it back into Sol. The same thing with Ethereum. But I mean, who who's really trading meme coins on Ethereum right now? You know what I mean? Like honestly, it's uh, <laughs> who wants to pay fifty dollars for a one hundred dollar transaction? It's hilarious. Ethereum really needs to step up its game if they want to be competitive in this meme coin mania in this meme coin market. But back to Kronos, guys. I expect Kronos to do well especially when we're seeing these signs of life, that Kronos is not a dead chain. People talk about that, Kronos being a dead chain. There's nobody using it. I beg to differ right now, guys. I mean, seeing some of these market caps, 75 million on Kaw, basically 20 million on Mary, 18 million on Dip. There's some money in here, guys. There's some money. The question is, does it stay and does it flow into Kronos? I think a majority of it will. And I'm I'm betting on that. I think that we will see that play out here. People are going to take profits or take losses into Crowcoin. But I do think there's a lot of this liquidity coming into Kronos from Solana, from Ethereum, because people want to play in the game. They want to play in the Kronos meme coin game. So let's take a look at Bitcoin a little bit. Over on the daily, we're kind of getting a little bit of a bounce here off of the $58,000 price level. Very important level. Very important. I really would like to see a higher close here. On the weekly, it really shows a better picture of where we're at. That we're just not quite out of the woods yet, if you will. I really want to see this weekly close above $65,000. We're trading at $64,200-ish right now. We have about five hours left until the daily can or excuse me until the weekly candle close. It's possible. Yes, it's possible. Do I think it's going to happen? We'll have to see. We'll have to see. 
But that being said, guys, if we don't get above that $65,000 weekly candle close, I'm going to say that we're probably going to be chopping around sideways for a little bit longer, guys. And I know a lot of you don't want to hear that, but we're starting to see this clip below on Market Cipher, this impulse wave clipping below the 60 level right here. Indicating if we do close and this wave starts coming below the 60, this white line, we're probably going to be embracing bracing for some pain. There's probably going to be some pain coming along. But doesn't mean that it's over by any means. It's really what I'm seeing here. If we start to spill over, it's going to be sideways price action and setting us up for higher Bitcoin prices for this bull market. So really, that's what you, if you're really, really big bull, that's what you should really be hoping for. I know that seems kind of counterintuitive to be hoping for the price to go down and to the side if you're hoping that it goes to the upside. But that's kind of what you should be hoping for here. Uh, I do say, I will say that there is an invalidation. If we, like I said, if we close above that 65,000, then I do expect we start heading our way up to $90,000 Bitcoin. So pay attention to that, guys. If you like this type of content, guys, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel right now. Go follow me on Instagram at 333BlackC. If I can get to 300 followers in the next day, I will give away $300 to one of you guys that follows me. So go follow me on that. And like I said, guys, to wrap this all up, there's liquidity in the chrono space. And there's liquidity coming to the chrono space. It's bullish for Crow. Kronos is not a dead chain. There's action happening here. That's all I got. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.